Hello and welcome to NC Trends. I am Shion Bankoli. You already know how we do it here. I bring you the latest social media trends from across the African continent as well as some of the reactions to them. Now we begin today in Uganda where 76-year-old Kaguta Museveni has been sworn in for the sixth time as the president of the East African country. Now this means that a 25-year-old Ugandan has had the same man as president since he was born. Wow! Now reacting to the trending hashtag M7 swearing in 2021, Frank tweeted, Congratulations at Kaguta Museveni on reaching this, and yet, this yet another historic day in your struggle for Africa's total liberation. I thank God for always giving you favor and divine anointments to triumph over your adversaries of all forms from near and far. Hashtag M7 swears in 2021. Also, at Aaron tweeted, Elections are over. Let us get down to work so as to chase poverty from your homes. Engage in commercial agriculture, counting profitability, industries, and services. Finally, on that, Lincoln tweeted, More five years of corruption, poverty, tribalism, police brutality, hospitals without drugs, massive youth unemployment, organ harvestings, bad roads countrywide, killings, land grabbing, injustice, human rights, violation, Poor education, the list is endless. Hashtag M7 swears in 2021. Now, that is opinion. Moving away from Uganda, let's move to Nigeria, where reports have it that music artist Sound Sultan has been diagnosed with throat cancer. This came as a shock and has sparked various reactions online. We take a look at this reaction on Twitter from Book of a Hundred Rhymes, who says that Sound Sultan has been relevant in the Nigerian music industry for over two decades, giving us hits like Orobo, Natural Something, Ole, etc. A great guy who is very receptive to fans and also loves basketball. I pray he gets the right answer over the throat cancer. Hashtag gets well soon. Also on Sound Sultan, Omotaya tweeted, The news about Sound Sultan is so disheartening. I pray God heals him. We pray so too. Finally on that, we have the tweet from Ada Pepe Rempe who says that reportedly, did he announce this himself? It's not right to post this if he did not disclose it himself. It's a sensitive issue. Hmm. Now that's all on South Sultan and we really wish him the best. Finally, we'll take a look at hashtag delivering our promises currently trending in Ghana. The Fix the Country Now and Name and Shame Social Reawakening in Ghana seems to have yielded positive results as the Ghanaian government has started jumping on abandoned projects like road construction, education, healthcare, and youth employment. Now let's take a look at the conversation online. At Am Esam tweeted, For the first time in two decades, the trade balance recorded a surplus for four consecutive years from 2017 to 2020. Nana Akufo Adu is committed to prospering the nation. Hashtag delivering our promise. Also, we have the tweet from Lady White who says, In as much as we are saying fix the country, we need to acknowledge the achievements of the current government in very vital areas of our economy in general. Hashtag counting our gains. Hashtag delivering our promise. Finally, in Ghana, Dona Dandon Dada tweeted, I remember how I used to be so worried about the issue of the inadequate ambulances until this current government solved that issue. Hashtag counting our gains, hashtag delivering our promise. Now you can keep the conversation going online. Tweet at New Central TV and let us know your opinion. That's all on NC Trends for today. Back to Sulai with the news.